hello everyone welcome to my channel this is slava good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well if you're new don't forget to like share and subscribe all right my wonderful collectors let's do another reading for you what messages you need to know about your current situation what messages you need to know about your current situation we have social media fake accounts done completion lesson learn also have here unexpected surprised visit and i have archangel michael okay so i feel like somebody here is you have a stalker definitely a stalker a stalker is potentially someone who you dumped who you whom you walked away from you're not interested in this uh person and uh, honestly that person wants to come and see you pop up unexpectedly but the thing is there's archangel michael here meaning you're protection protected Okay, the higher power does not allow some sort of piece of shit to enter back into your life in order to destroy your life. Okay, now who is this uh, lunatic over here? Who is this hiding? Hiding someone, I feel like you're dumped. Okay, you no longer was this person. You're not interested in this person. You have no attraction to this person, but this person cannot get over you. I feel like this person is trapped, frustrated, closed in, trapped obsessed potentially some sort of masculine over here masculine who cannot get over you obsessed this individual i feel like doesn't want you to be with anybody scared panicking have anxiety have some sort of anxiety here so so, so clearly this individual this masculine have done something against you and and, and feel trapped very scared I feel very scared, obsessed, obsessed with you. Obsessed with you. Why? Who is this person? Who is this person that is scared and obsessed? Who is this person? This is, could be your ex. Mm. Angry, Knight of Swords. Angry. I feel like wants revenge wants revenge because you walked away but see this person is a player this person is a player i feel like this person betrayed you i think this person have walked away themselves okay did not nicely walked away did not ended the relationship like a normal person full of integrity had some sort of pissing competition had a secret life and now is upset this individual is upset because you no longer um with that person i do have here queen of wands i do have here king of swords maybe somebody else got involved in here in your situation manipulated so there's definitely a third party that were involved in your relationship some sort of female i see here queen of wands um earth sign and i have king of swords so this individual did not act it uh civilly this individual this masculine over here that walked away acted like a sociopath betrayed you and now i feel like this community that that masculine is like i said have chosen or prioritized their decision over you um feel scared so they're all stalking you they're all watching your social media accounts Who is this Queen of Wands and King of Swords? It's a community. It's a family. Some sort of family. Teamwork. Community. They were together. And once again, we also come up here with a um, uh, Knight of Swords. Very impulsive. Rebellious. I feel like they're rebelling over you. They want revenge. Or they were at one point interfered in your relationship. <clears throat> Uh, once again, because there's some sort of unsuccessful ma uh, male, there could be extortion, could have been corruption that taken place in, in your relationship. It's all connected to this masculine, this incompetent, immature masculine that never told you the truth about what's, ha what's happening. This individual simply uh, broke your heart, broke your heart, or felt like he's entitled to seek revenge against you. Because he felt unhappy or in sorrow or sadness heartache 
betrayal, felt betrayed. So it sounds to me like this Queen of Wands and King of Wands secretly interfered in your relationship with some sort of materialistic, ungrounded, unsuccessful male, potentially the one that walked away at one point, due to the advice and direction of this Queen of Wands and King of Swords. And now this individual feel like they want to seek revenge or he was encouraged to seek revenge against you. You understand? I feel like there's definitely was some sort of corruption done here. So now these psychopaths are all watching you. Not happy what they see, what they know. See, mental prison, lockdown, confined. I feel like this individual is um, blaming themselves or they're very scared of what is yet to come. See, feel threatened. They feel scared. They feel threatened because truth is coming to light about what these psychopaths have done. I feel like these sociopaths, see, this person is has some potentially feelings towards you, has some sort of feelings towards you, cannot let go. That person, that masculine cannot let go. There's a lot of gossip that was done against you and currently being done against you. Other jealousy, other envy. And I feel like this person maybe potentially understands it now. You maybe potentially cleanse this negativity that was thrown your way. Because there's definitely two males, uh, one female and masculine, but I feel like another female was involved. Two female, one masculine that uh, spread a lot of rumors about you. To this unsuccessful male that you were with, who was unsuccessful, who believed, believed the gossip that was spread about you, okay? And definitely was some sort of corruption. So that I feel energy that this masculine that walked away saw that he's walking away because he's going to be successful or chosen success, illegal success over love, is unhappy and heartbroken. Does not let you go. Cannot let you go. Maybe this individual is finally realizing what they have done. Because the consequences is yet to take place. You can't just get away with what you've done. I also feel that you removed. Removed. Your, you disproved this allegation. That they were nothing but gossip. Out of jealousy and envy. Towards you. So know that uh, there was a third party involved secretly. They worked behind your back to separate you and this masculine. This masculine knew what he was doing. He was either a, an idiot to believe the bullshit that was spread about you, which, like I said, was nothing but a gossip in a, in a community. Maybe potentially where he worked or his family did not accept you. A lot of lies and a lot of bullshit. Okay, there's a corruption here, corruption. This masculine betrayed you, throw you to the wolf. But on a positive note, like I already said, the fact that these individuals are not going to be dealing with the consequences, they're trying to right now manipulate the situation in their favor. They, 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 they seek the opportunity to seek revenge against you, but it's not going to take place. It's not going to happen. Okay, I also feel that this masculine is um, feeling depressed and sad because truth is coming out. So let's take a look what gossip was actually spread about you. Because these psychopaths have no boundaries. They were secretly partnership. I feel like two people partner up together to do this. I have fire sign female. She doesn't have to be. And I also have air sign king of swords. This is, could be someone in military. Maybe they both could be in military. We will take a look what gossips that were spread against you. And now these lunatics are scared. Okay, scared because it, <laughs> because truth is out. On a good note, you need to understand you are protected from harm. No matter what these idiots are trying to do or think that they can get away with, it's not going to happen. So there was a gossip spread against you in a community. Okay, this is, could be a family. Uh, this is, could be a people that actually work together, could, could represent teamwork. 
um, individuals literally plotted together to slander your name. And now it's out. The truth is out. So let's take a look what gossip was spread about you in the community. What exactly these lunatics said and for what purpose. I hope you will never come back to your ex, honestly, ever, ever. Because this, uh, like I said, individual from your past um, betrayed you. Betrayed you. We have hope, prank, fascinating, watching you, prank. They're praying right now. They're praying that whatever the slander that they did is not going to come out. Okay, these karmics. These karmics. They're themselves not happy what they did. They're watching you tune in through internet connection. Okay, they know. They know that this is over. They know it's time for this to come out. There's a love affair that was also involved. All this secret dirty. Well, jealousy, like I said. It was done because of this relationship. Soulmate. Friendship. It's coming out to light. The reason why it was done to you, because there was a love affair. And this individual, whatever that individual that was involved in your relationship, the other party... Uh, like I said, wanted to break you apart. And this whole gossip was spread in order to do that, to separate you. But the thing is, if your masculine was a um, strong individual, spiritually powerful and strong individual, uh, he would have not believed this, right? So, so it's a good thing you're finished and you're done. See, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine cannot resist. Sold, moving, physical location, receipt, show me, entrapment. They, 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 they involved other pretty much to entrap you. They involved other to entrap you, okay? And file a bunch of paperwork against you legally that were all based on gossip, right? They try to entrap you, which is all is out. It's all came out to light. Everybody know what these individuals did, what this community in particular have done. This is, could be a family that simply did not want it for you to have a relationship or being in relationship with this other individual. This is, could be his colleagues that did not want it you together. Or this is, could be the mistress. So let's take a look here. There's gossip in the community that is being spread about you. What is this about here? We understand this was out of jealousy. Tell me more. What is this about? Eight of Swords. This individual wanted to restrict you. Wanted to restrict you. Wanted to cause you this Ten of Swords. Betrayed you. The problem is not you. The problem is a jealous lunatics. Some sort of sick, unethical, incompetent community. See, they wanted to cause you this three of swords intentionally by the moon cart. Wanted to cause you harm and suffering. Wanted to humiliate you. For what reason? For what reason? Herefin, because they saw that they're right. You understand? They saw that they're right. Overly right. We have King of Wands in here. It's because of this King of Wands. Your relationship was this ex of yours. The full one. The full one. Some sort of message they told him that wasn't true. They offered him something. What did they offer? What did they offer? That, that made this individual think. Some sort of individual was... Um, a message came to this person, King Kawans, about you. Because I do see that, you know, you trusted this person. But these gossipers 
plotted the situation, brought some sort of information to this king of wands about you that wasn't truthful. Two of swords. This person did not know the truth. It was concealed. So when that person have made decision against you, that person did not know the, the whole truth. He was under the illusion. Seven of cups. And this is to do with some sort of financial. Financial. Either the information was said, you should leave. Five of pentacles. Or he was in a bad financial position. But there's definitely about money something here. And destruction. So this individual was afraid to lose his job. Maybe. It was about money here. We also have here Knight of Pentacles, something on a paper. Some some sort of corruption was involved here. Corruption that complicated his path if he would have not accepted it. But this was illusion. It wasn't even the truth. You understand? It wasn't the truth. TikTok, deadline. Cut off, ghosted. Paperwork filed. Something was filed that wasn't truthfully. There was a corruption here. Maybe your ex over here signed some sort of legal documents that weren't based on truth and were based on gossip. But there's definitely, definitely something was done against you. There was a deadline. No time. I feel like that was done in a rush. And we have some sort of drama queen over here that is scared right now about what she did. Quite psychotic over here, um, community, I'll tell you that much. Sick, sick individuals. They enter into some sort of agreement. Jealousy. There was jealousy here. Yeah. Over finances. It was employment. These individuals knew exactly your karmic ex position, okay, in what position he was. So they pretty much uh, provided false information, pretty much that your hands are restricted. Uh, all lies, by the moon card, all lies. It was intentionally done to cause you harm, to break you apart, because I feel like this ex had feelings towards you. You're no longer together. You're not talking to each other. You don't want nothing to do with this person. As far as you consider this person believed bullshit. This person never had your back. See, he be, he looking at the bullshit, at the lies and gossip, and believes it to be true. But by the hierophant, it shows that this is, could be somebody whose opinion, his values, like a community, a mother, a family, a boss. This person never trusted you. He believed the lies. Okay, the other questions I want to see. Well, what's up with this corruption that comes up? What's up with this corruption? What is this corruption about? We've seen this money has to a big play in this situation. What is this corruption? We have mature man. We have tailor and labor. We have sudden wealth. We have great fortune. We have pathways. We have community. We have despair. We have change. We have thieves. It's liars. It's liars and individuals that wanted to make money. That wanted to make money here. We have male and female here involved. The male could be mature, could be older. We have a female, we have another male. Main female, main female, and main male. And corruption at work. Two people here. And there is an ending to their bullshit. Shenanigans. So they're going to be fired. They're going to lose their jobs. Male and female here. We have privileged lady. We have courtship. We have wealthy man. We have unexpected income. This is about you. This is about you. That there's a new partner coming towards you. Okay. New person that is coming towards you. Could be an official person. Official person connected to the judicial system. 
law enforcement judicial system. So it looks like there is a two lunatics over here, two crooks, two liars uh, that decided to make money on you. Okay. Now this organization using individuals like your ex, who's vulnerable, financially poor, broke ass, and they thought, hey, great idea. He's broke ass. If we're gonna threaten him, that we're gonna fire him from his job, he's gonna do exactly what we want him to do, right? This is, I feel like a community that take advantage of weak people, whether financially weak or whatever the case may be, and using these individuals in order to profit themselves. Because I feel like there is a, some sort of mature man over here, older man, and on top of that, I see a two male and female. Another pu couple here, male and female, that working together. They were working together. You understand? But they will be judged. They will be brought to justice. You have a new person coming in towards you. There is an ending to their job. They will be fired. Everyone involved in this corruption will be fired fired because they're crooks they're liars they wanted to make money on you they look for individuals like your ex who is not sitting still believing the bullshit that is being spread by this community or a family because he's a fool he's a fool right the whole community is freaking out because truth is out now let's take a look there is a definitely going to be an ending to this corruption of these crooks taking advantage of people. They will be booted, fired for all their gossip. They don't have any ethic and morals. Tell me more about this occupation and coffin. What is this occupation and coffins about? Karmics. Third party. Scared. They're freaking out. They're freaking out right now. And they're about to reveal everything. See? Searching. They're being investigated. Looking for info records, searching. They don't know what the fuck they're searching. They're searching to something that they can use it legally against you. But it's all end up for shit. Whatever they're doing, they cannot do anything. They're scared because they... First, they did something legally against you, right? Now they need to find a way how to back it up. But they only dig in the bigger hold for themselves. You understand? They're trying to fabricate the evidence that were practically and factually based on gossip and, and fraud. And now they're trying to fabricate this, but they cannot find it. So they're scared. They're scared. Where's corruption? Where's corruption? This community is sick. See, they're going to be locked up. Mental prison confinement. Maybe some of them will actually going to be detained in Looney Tooney. Could be. That's a sick community, right? And it's going to happen in a future days, weeks, or months. Very sooner than you expected. Sooner than you expected. These individuals messed up. 100%. 100%. They should have never messed with you. They should have never, ever do what they have done against you. But they're privileged, you understand? There is a female over here in particularly, Queen of uh, Pentacles, sick, sociopathic, jealous, lunatic, very shallow. Probably the one that started this rumor about, about you and gossip. Sicko. She's going to be locked up, definitely, in the psycho bin. That's without doubt. There's, there's mental problems with this individual. She has mental problems. She will be mentally locked up. Because that person is sick. You don't go around and, and make false reports against innocent people based on your delusional gossip. This means you're a delusional sicko. So she will be locked up. Who is this ungrounded, jealous, shallow, sociopathic, and mentally unfit queen of pentacles? Very materialistic, shallow. At one point, like I said, she wanted to be favored. She got some sort of assistance or had control or had authority or wanted to have authority. She ran away with what she did. 
at one point. But she's not going to run away now. She's not getting away with what she did and continue doing it. See? Magician. Magician and <clears throat> three of cups. Manipulator. Manipulated everything. She's a failure. She tried to escape that. She didn't want to date. She, she lazy. She wanted to have good life. Overindulgence. Gossiper. Lack of social life. She was jealous of you. And everything that was done against you was out of this sickle jealousy. The sickle posed herself as a very successful female. But she's nobody. She's nobody. She has nothing. She's nothing but a gossiper. Loser. Was a boring job. Dead up to her balls. Pardon my French. Lazy unqualified to do what she's doing which is nothing and on top of that manipulator manipulator what is this magician about manipulated everybody does and, and still till this day does not want to let go she doesn't have any common sense she doesn't, she's not successful. There is no success in her life. She's nothing but a burden. And she did all of this. Guess what? Justice, karma, consequences, legal dispute. She's going to be, she's going to be held accountable for every single thing she did here. Every single thing she did here. What is this justice? Like I said, there's already course involved. She's investigated. She's being investigated. See, Archangel Michael, you're protected. Judicially, you're protected. She's probably wondering how come nothing works. Because she's that type of gossiper that runs around, complains. You know, she, she's, she's so lazy. She, she doesn't have any job. Lazy as fuck. Sits on her ass, doesn't do fuck all. Runs through these different departments, from cops to whatever, you name it. This sociopath probably complained to every single fucking town about you. And then she sits on her ass, her lazy ass, full of debt, singing to herself, how come nothing works? Well, I fucking wonder... Maybe because you're under investigation right now? That's why nothing works? Did you thought of that? Are you, are you sick? We definitely had a mental health card here. Definitely some not right with this person. That's a sicko. Because you're protected. You are protected. Judicially, you are protected. Like I already said. Judicially, you're protected. See? Bounty hunter. She's investigated. And these investigators are ready to, they're fucking fed up. They're ready to explode on these cycles. They have had enough. What they have discovered and what they have seen and the evidence they have against this corruption and this corrupt sociopath, they're fucking had it. They're thinking which mental institution should they, should they send her to? Which one's the more hardcore? They have had enough. They're ready to bust her. And such time is coming. See, because it's all investigated. Journal. They keep records of every single thing she did against you and this community. The sociopathic crazies. What is this justice card? Emperor. Emperor Two of Cups. It's your strong positions and a sacred union for you. You may be already being in relationship with somebody you do not disclose. If not, there is a person that is coming towards you that you were destined to be with. And on top of that, Nine of Pentacles. You, you, you don't need to worry about any single thing what these sociopathics are doing because we have Justice card here. You will be happy with the result. Justice will be served. It's on its way. It's on its way. Expect the news and balancing the situation and money on top of that and new beginning. 
and truth and happiness. So this is this is like I said, what in, what what you deserve initially. If not this jealous sociopaths that spread all this gossip about you. And that sicko has no boundaries. And it was all because of some acts of yours. Like, are you crazy? Are you crazy? That acts that cannot let you go in the first place? Oh, that's great. So why don't we just manipulate the situation? But anyways, this sociopath over here, broke ass, is... Um, going to be in in mental prison she probably are already in a mental sociopathic prison because this person cannot stop being jealous of you it's just it has no end okay she involved so many authority and so many people that everybody just have had enough and on top of that there is some sort of corruption here was done as well maybe she pressured because remember when you deal with a sick sociopathic person yeah that sociopathic person probably constantly called and said, are you going to arrest her or him? Are you going to arrest him or her? This is what she did. So she herself created and fabricated evidence against you. And then pressured authorities to act. Anything could expect it from this uh, sociopath. Because sociopathic people are sick people. You have to understand they're, they're psychopaths. Psychopaths. Now let's take a look about this psychopath over here, this Queen of Pentacles. Let's find out first exactly who is she. Who is she? Who is this sociopathic person? Six of Swords. Ace of Wands. Lover. Somebody who involved in your relationship, like I said. Potentially connected to your ex. What is this two of cups and a lover? This was, like I said, all jealousy because of, of romantic relationship. For once, ace of swords. This person wanted to cut you off. See, cut you off once again comes up. This kinko once. It was because of this kinko once. Jealousy, ten of swords. Wanted to break you apart. Wanted to hurt you. To seek revenge against you. To imprison you. Again, the same cards came up. Three of Swords. Same thing that I pulled in the beginning. Wanted you to be alone. But nothing worked, did it? Nothing worked. So she potentially could be either an ex-wife of your karmic ex. Or the woman that he is with right now. This is, could be one or the other. They're either together or they're not together. Let's take a look if these two are still together. But definitely this female is nuts. I'm telling you right now, nuts. Crazy, crazy. Don't worry, like I said, there is a, a person that is coming towards you that you are destined to be with, your soulmate. Be thankful that you're not around this ex of yours because this sociopath could have been worse. I'm telling you, this person is delusional and mentally unfit. Now let's take a look at these two lunatics, our uh, husband and wife, are they together or not? Is this Queen of Pentacles and King of Wands are currently together? Are they a couple together? Yes or no? Are they a couple together? Yes, they are a couple. They are a couple. Is this Queen of Pentacles over here that spread rumors about you, manipulated other community to go against you? Is this Queen of Pentacles? Is this Queen of Pentacles was a other woman in your relationship with your karmic ex? Yes or no? Was she involved so intimate, intimately with him? Yes. Okay, is this King of Wands, who is your karmic ex, have any relationship or feelings? Is this King of Wands in love with this Queen of Pentacles right now? Is he in love with her? No. He doesn't love her even. Is this King of Wands in a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles because of money? 
Yes or no? Yes. So they have some sort of money together, some sort of commitment. He's not in love with her. Okay, let's ask another question. Let's move these uh, cycles aside. Um, question I'm going to ask. Are you currently on the right path in life? Are you walking the path you need to be on today? Is this is your path? Yes. Are you going to meet your true love? this year yes or no yes so the answer is yes they're together they are together uh, this is uh, most likely the other woman that interfered wanted to je just jealous person period there's nothing more to say anyways karma will be served truth will prevail justice will be served this is the most important you need to know. Plus, on top of that, majority of my collectors will meet your true love. This year. This year. Let's actually ask the time frame. Uh, we'll go month to month and see exactly if it's going to happen this spring or uh, is it going to happen in summertime. Will you meet your true love? this spring this spring mm, not in spring summertime is it going to be in summertime is are my collectives going to meet their true love in summertime hold on look searching for answers maybe later later a little later not this spring but this individual is definitely uh coming coming towards you definitely without doubt let's take a look at your soulmate at your soulmate high honor privileged lady you will be privileged with this person false person in despair again the psychopath well this person is going to leave you alone okay after truth will prevail, uh, this person that you're destined to be with will come towards you. After, like I said, the situation with these fakes are going to end. Are going to end. Which is coming to an end. You will redeem your name. You will have stability. You will be successful. You will be happy. Mature woman concern here. Mature man concern here. Change. Mm -hmm. Change and marriage. Change and marriage. So this new person that's coming towards you will be your gift. Will be the gift for you. Because there's nothing else you need. You have everything. You have everything. The only thing, like I said, you're still waiting for is, is your soulmate. And that's definitely going to happen. But like I said, you're dealing with these sociopathic, crazy people that does not leave you alone, okay? Uh, so hang in there. Do not go astray. Do not lose your strong positions. Be strong. Be positive. Be optimistic. And uh, like I said, this is almost, almost over. Let's take a look what advice I have for you from Guardian Angels cards. I have your ideas and inspirations. I also have focus. So focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Be creative. Be creative. Do not lose focus. Do not get distracted. Okay? Forgiveness. For some, is an encouragement to try to forgive. Try to forgive what happened in the past. Just let it go. It's just not yours. It's not, not yours. Let it go. Let it go. And of course, we have surrender and release. Once again, a card encouraging to release. To release something that is already broken. 
Do not try to justify what have happened in the past. Do not try to seek answer. Just let go. Because what is meant to be yours, your soulmate, your true love, is going to be do not hold to this broken bucket that can never be fixed. Just forgive and let go. Let go. The past will never come back. Retreat. Relax. Give time to yourself. Understand that everything is going to take place in its divine timing when it's always meant to take place. Meditation. Meditate. Heal yourself. There's also miracles that take place around you and in your life. And there is a soulmate. You maybe potentially don't even believe that true love exists. But the true love does exist. And you yet to find your true love. So do not look back. Try to forgive your ex who have been misleaded, manipulated by jealous sociopaths. Let it go. That person wasn't your person. That individual was not your soulmate. It was never meant to be with you. Because if you meant to be with somebody truly, it cannot be broken. It's forever. If it was already broken, that it's not yours. Okay? You will meet your other half. You will be happy. In regards of your enemies, like I mentioned before, let the justice take its course. Okay? Justice will put everybody on their places. It's no longer depending on you. It's no longer depending on the other party. In divine timing, everything will be placed where it's supposed to be. What is required from you is simply be creative. Do what makes you happy. Do not even look back. Do not. There is nothing, any, there is nothing for you there in the past. Look forward. Okay, so this is the message I have for you, my wonderful collectives. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.